Hello and welcome to the History Channel. Today we are looking into the history of Mysore Kingdom uh, and we will be talking about one of the uh, very important rulers of Mysore, Kantirava Narasaraja Wadir. There is also a movie about him in Kannada uh, and he happens to be the 12th Wadir King. So this is one of his pictures and uh, under his rule, uh, from 1638 to 1659, a lot of improvements were done in Mysore and surrounding regions. So let us take a little uh, bit deeper look into Kantirava. He was born in 1615 and if you remember, uh, he, uh, he, he's the, he was the son of Betta the Chamaraja Wadir. If you remember, Betta the Chamaraja Wadir was deposed and Raja Wadir had become the king. And because better the Chamraja Wadir had not performed well and arrears were mounting. So what happened after Raja Wadir's death? Better the Chamraja Wadir was uh, sent off, was deposed, though he still helped Raja Wadir in uh, handling uh, battles and campings. So in 16, uh, 1638, one of his sons, Kantirava, had to become king. That was that's because uh, Raja Wadir's uh, sons, well, one of the sons, Imadi, was actually poisoned by uh, his uh, minister itself. So, after the death of the uh, in son, there was no other direct rule higher. So, they had to call um, Kantirava to become the king of Mysore. So, the Kantirava had a very magnificent personality. He was very fearless. He knew a lot of uh, not only weapons like uh, spear, club, sword fighting and all. He was also a good rider. He was also an excellent wrestler. And so there is a story um, which is very famous. So let me uh, recite you that wrestling incident story. It is said that in a place called Tiruchinapalli, which is in Tamil Nadu, there was a very famous and strong wrestler known as uh, Mahamalla. So he was so proud of his wrestling skills that he had put a loin cloth on the ramparts of the fort. So, he, he, and he t told the, the king of Tiruchirappalli or the chieftain of Tiruchirappalli that uh, whoever tries to remove uh, everybody who comes inside the city should bow down to my loin cloth. And if, if anyone tries to remove the loin cloth, it will be like a challenge to me. When Kantirava uh, came to Tiruchirappalli and saw this loin cloth, he went and removed it. And uh, subsequently, uh, he had to wrestle uh, Mahamalla. And in that battle, it is said that Kantirava won and Mahamalla was actually defeated. So this is a very famous incident. And there is also a comic book on Kantirava, which talks about this in greater uh, fun detail. So such fearless was his main um, uh, you know, personality. So after um, uh, the, after the death of Imadi, uh, who was poisoned, he uh, he was called to Mysore to become the king. So he came uh, to sixteen he came in sixteen thirty eight to ascend the throne of Mysore. Uh, earlier he stayed in a place called Gundlu Terakambi. So as you already know, uh, he had to uh, immediately recruit a Dalwai. Dalwai is a person who handles the uh, military and the horses. So when he became the king, he made Timaraja Dalwai as the uh, Timaraja as the Dalwai. So uh, he had to remove Vikram uh, uh, this one because uh, the previous Dalwai he had to remove because he had caused the death of Imadi Raja Wadir. So after this, um, let us take a, a slight look at Mysore. So if you actually see um, Mysore. At the down south, there were a lot of other kingdoms surrounding Mysore. And how was the condition when um, Kantirava became the, the king? So, let's take Mughals. Mughals had already started coming down south. Uh, in fact, um, it was under the rule of uh, Tilcha uh, uh, when during Akbar's reign, Deccan was actually the um, one of the viceroyalty of the Mughal. Later, uh, when Shah Jahan came, there were two uh, important, uh, there were kingdoms of Bahmanis here. 
and uh, one was the Adil Shah of Bijapur, Kutub Shah of Golconda. And so Shah Jahan had made some treaties with Bidar, Bijar, Bijapur and uh, Golconda respectively. So all these regions had the Muslim presence, the Bahamani Sultans, and there were some treaties which was there. And you, as you already know, Vijayanagara Kingdom was already in decline and they, the, the Aravidu dynasty was in, uh, in picture. And um, the king of uh, Aravidu dynasty was Venkata, Venkatapati Devanaya and later it was Sri Ranga. So talking about um, the Europeans had already started coming. There were Bijapur and Golkanda, which I said. There were also Mughals. Apart from that, near Mysore, in places like Nagmangala and uh, other places like Madurai and uh, Chik, uh, this Chitradurga, there were a lot of chieftains or what they used to call as Nayakas. So it was a very fertile background when Kantirava became king. And as you know, Kantirava, Kantirava was a fighter and so he had a lot of fight in his hands. There was, as I mentioned earlier, apart from Mughals, the Europeans and the Bijapur and Golkanda, there were also Nayakas of Madurai, Ikeri, Magadi. Magadi was ruled by somebody named as Kempe Gauda. So all surrounding Mysore, there were a lot of troublesome chieftains for the warrior. So let's start looking into his campaigns. So one of the first things uh, was he consolidated Mysore because his main aim was to give stability to Mysore and also expand it. So that's what he was successful in doing. So one of the first uh, campaigns was Bijapur campaign. So as I mentioned to you earlier, Bijapur was in the north of Mysore. If Mysore is here, Bijapur was here. So Bijapur was uh, came down uh, to Mysore and uh, wanted to extract tribute from Mysore. So the um, uh, the Bijapur's king was Muhammad Adil Shah. He sent Rana Ranaudullah Rana Khan to actually lead the forces. So Ranaudullah Rana Khan came to Bangalore and seized Bangalore, and he gave Bangalore as a jagir to Shivaji's father Shahji. Later, the uh, Ranaudullah Khan came to uh, Shirangpatna and Mysore, and this is where Kantirava and Arsaraja Wadiyar not only refused to pay tribute, but also um, defeated Ranadullah Khan. So the first campaign of Bijapur was a failure. Later, Kantirava had to face many battles. So uh, because of the Bijapur issues, uh, Kantirava thought, let me capture all other places and make Mysore safer. So he uh, captured uh, Magad, uh, Ramagiri Durga and he captured uh, Huliur Durga. He captured Bagu, he captured Truvakere. All of these areas are nearby Mysore. So he captured many of the uh, nearby places. After um, uh, this um, uh, Ranadullah Khan, it was Mustafa Khan who came again, um, who succeeded uh, Ranadullah Khan. And so he too tried to take, under Mustafa Khan, he tried to came, come and uh, battle Mysore um, from uh, Kantirava. But that too was, um, that too failed because the Dalwai of Mysore at that time was Nanjarajaya and he was a very good soldier and he managed to defeat Mustafa Khan. So again, Bijapur campaign was a failure. Not only this, Madurai too had a Nayak of uh, Madurai was known as Tirumala Nayak. He started fighting with Mysore. He instigated uh, nearby chiefs of Sambali to... Uh, you know, to, to go and fight in Mysore. and But Nanjarajaya, the Dalwai of uh, Kantirava, managed to not only conquer Sambali, he also came till uh, Madurai. And he uh, um, uh, captured Sambali and other places and uh, he defeated the Tirumala Nayak. Finally, uh, he got, uh, he went till uh, Trich Trich Trichinapalli, the same Trichinapalli and Tiruvannamalai, Tiruchiragud, all these and then he returned to Shirangpatna. So until then, um, Kantirava saw only victories. So in many other places uh, like Periyapatna and Holenarsepura, which are which were nearby Mysore, was also taken over by Kantirava. 
once again bijapur uh, while bijapur was not satisfied and again mustafa khan this time with the help of ikeri uh, he comes to defeat uh, mysore um unfortunately mysore won wins but the nanjrajaya the dalwai dies in this battlefield so um, which is a great loss for mysore finally uh, uh, i told you that the uh, shiranga was the king of vijayanagara he gave kantirava was very neutral where he gave uh, shelter to shiranga and made sure he was royally treated and he expanded mysore so by the time uh, kantirava was uh, you know uh, becoming old he had already taken a huge Uh, Mysore had uh, gone on till Channa Patna in and Thiruvakkara in the north, Kaveri Patna and Chennai Patna in the northwest. But his last years were very miserable because uh, five, uh, in the later years, uh, Tirumala Nayak of Madurai and later on uh, Shiva Panayak of Ikeri did give give him gave him a lot of troubles, and so his last years was not that great. In 1659, he died. so some of his measures was defense because defense battles were fought a lot defense was his main priority he strengthened mysore and shirang patna forts in his time a mint was established and he minted uh, coins like uh, um, uh, kanti ravahana kanti ravaraya copper pagodas and all that this showed that mysore was slowly becoming independent the revenue was also uh, considerable and uh, he in his time period there was a lot of literature written one of the mathematical works which was written was behra ganita which was actually a work on compound interest and uh, there were a lot of biographies written poems were written some of the poets or uh, in kantirava uh, court was uh, someone named as govinda vaidya who wrote kantirava narasraja vijayam then there was another poet called timarasa who wrote markhandeya ramayana so many works were written and because he himself was a good uh, scholar and really religion he tolerated all though he was uh, he uh, adored vaishnavism and uh, protected vaishnavism he did uh, tolerate all other religions in fact for the uh, he his greatest uh, he was a devotee of vaishnavism and he gifted a crown of um, nine uh, made of nine precious gems uh, to one of the idols of lord vishnu made a, gave a lot of donations he constructed new temples and repaired a lot of temples as well so he did uh, uh, create the temple at shirang patna one of a few of the walls of ranganatha then some of the uh, temples at karigat karigatha which is near mysore he constructed uh, renovated the temple and also laid steps to the hill and uh, he also uh, tried to uh, he gave grants of villages and uh, fort of mysore he rebuilt so all these things he had done so in the next uh, uh, this one we will learn about chikadevaraja wadiyar and others